Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee, and I just want to take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about roof racks, and in particular, the importance of choosing the right roof rack and securing the load properly. And to help me do this, I've come down to the Vanguard Roof Rack Works in Exeter to look at their British-made product to see how it's made, how it's fitted, and how you can improve the safety of carrying loads on your vehicle. So the first thing that I noticed that really impresses me about this system is the high quality engineering. This is a British made product and I'm a great believer in British manufacturing and it's made to fit your van. We're not talking about going down to your local car spares warehouse and buying something that's supposed to fit every single vehicle. This is made for the job and it's made to take the kind of loads that you as a tradesman will want to put on it. So, the basis of the whole system is the ulti bars. These are aerodynamic bars that fit onto the load points provided by the vehicle manufacturer. And that's important. These brackets are made by Vanguard to suit the van and they will hold it securely and carry the loads that are designed to be carried on here. And with the ulti bar, you get two load stops with each bar for front and back. They come as standard, no extra, and you can adjust those and you can also remove them very easily indeed with these thumb screws. Now, I might be showing my age here, but when I started in this business, the only way of carrying copper tube on your roof rack was to use an old soil pipe or something like that. But of course, now we've got purpose-made tube carriers and they don't come much sleeker or aerodynamic than these ones from Vanguard. Now, unusually, he's got two tube carriers on this van because he's a plumber and an electrician, get that. So he's got his copper tube in one and he's got his conduit in the other. But even better is the one for the conduit is lined so he doesn't scratch his conduit. And if, like me, you sometimes put short ends of pipe in, you might like to know that these ones are also openable from the front. And of course, they're fully lockable. What I tend to do is overnight, if I've got nothing in the tube carrier, I tend to take the keys out and leave the end open so that nobody ends up breaking open my tube carrier just to find that it's empty. And just before I go, I just want to talk to you about safety, remind you of those points, because we're all in a rush and everyone I know who's had a roof rack has got some horror story to tell. And don't forget, it could turn out really badly you could even end up with a fatality if the load comes off your roof. So make sure that the roof rack you choose is suitable, fit for purpose. Don't choose a DIY roof rack from your local car spares place that's only intended for carrying suitcases. Vanguard roof racks are made for the vehicle, they're approved, and also, more importantly, they're approved for the maximum load. Don't exceed that maximum load. If the load is too heavy, get it delivered and then make sure that it's evenly and securely distributed on the vehicle. It's important that you don't destabilize the vehicle. And then make sure that you check regularly that the roof rack is in good nick, that all those nuts are done up and there's nothing wrong. And never ever alter the roof rack for any purpose. It's approved, it's passed all the tests, and that's the way you want to keep it. So with that, I'm off to do another day's work.